Hey guys, uh, this video is about how to create the uh, the electronics for the sensor, that bore on the sensor itself. Uh, I'm going to outline the steps. I'm not going to go into detail until I get to putting the components uh, on the bore itself. Uh, <coughs> but I'm going to outline all the steps that are required to create something like that. So uh, step number one would be to create a layout. Uh, this is my layout for uh, my board and then uh, I put in PVF and <clears throat> invert the image so uh, the components are in white uh, because this is going to have to be printed in uh, gloss uh, transparent paper so it should look like this this is on my phone um, once you have it like that uh, you can get a piece of uh, PCB board, uh, add uh, photo sensitive film to it, like this. Uh, you will run it uh, through a, you can either use a, a heat gun or uh, a laminator, uh, run it a few times uh, just to make sure that everything is nice and even. <clears throat> Once you have that, then you're going to put the uh, uh, your print on top of the board and you're going to expose it to UV light uh, for about 20 seconds or a couple minutes. Depends on <clears throat> on on how transparent um, your uh, print is. So once you have that, Um, you're going to end up with something like that. And then uh, you take the top film off and you put it in uh, in developer. Uh, this is just uh, uh, sort of ash in water. <clears throat> After about, it takes about a minute and then um, uh, once it's done, it comes out like that, where it's just nice and clear. Only the parts that were uh, developed are the ones that are still stuck to the board. Uh, you know, obviously, once you're done, you can rinse it and throw it into acid. Uh, this is the longest process. This takes about 10 minutes. Uh, all the other ones take about a minute. Uh, so after a few minutes, uh, it'll start to look like this. So now it's nice and clear, all the copper has been removed, just the, the parts themselves are there. Um, so <clears throat> the, uh, let's see what do we do here. <clears throat> so this is what I have. Um, I have the plastic film or the plastic print, transparent plastic, a regular bore. Uh, once you're, you know, this is what you put over it. You know, put UV light over it. It'll develop into something like this. So obviously, this has been uh, in acid, so there's no more copper on it. Only the uh, the components are left. You see, there's another one. There's some more. <clears throat> this is what I use for uh, drilling the holes. This is the a three eighths. It's perfect size for what I need. Uh, let me show you what I need. So the size is just right for that one. It goes right through it. Right. This is one component that has been. Uh, the uh, the photon resist has been removed. It goes right through it, as you can see. And you know, obviously, the next step is just to add the components to it. So let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> and let me bring this over. So that's one of the components. 
and uh, we are going to attach that little sucker right there. And a capacitor. This is a 0.1 microfarad capacitors. Uh, let me lower it a little bit so you can yeah, you can read what it says. Or not. Anyways, so let's attach the components and see how it works. All right, let's add a little bit of flux. There we go. <clears throat> so now that we have that, we can add a little bit more flux. Now we're just going to solder the cables. 
and we should be good to go. Just a little slider. I mean, flux. First goes power or the voltage wire. <clears throat> Ground. And the second one. Doesn't look great, but there it is. <clears throat> Let me clean it a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let me test it. Power. Right there. Let me just let me wait. Go here. Five volts. And the one round. Power. Round. And signal. <clears throat> So if I, where's my thing? As you can tell, I wasn't ready for this test. So, uh, so here's uh, the inside of one of the components with the magnet. So if I put this through here, you'll see the voltage start to change as I get it closer. That's about the distance, the right distance right there. Okay. 
right? That's uh, one volt, one point one, right? All right, so that's that's all. That's that's all it is. It's just a uh, a board, two components, is a capacitor, and uh, a sensor. The sensor is the uh, VRV five zero five six. This is from uh, Texas Instruments. And the capacitor is just a 0.1 microfarads. Uh, this is the A1. That's it. Have fun.